Yo, happy new year, everybody. Man, haven't had a chance to talk to y'all in a minute, man. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's doing good. Um, man, I wanted to come and talk to you guys. Um, I, uh, if you follow me, you know that I'm not uh, one that's lost for words a lot, right? I um, have wanted to talk to you guys this year uh, because I have discovered for myself that I am, uh, as I guess in, in psychology, they call it an empath, right? And an empath is a person that can feel the emotions and feelings and hurts of other people, okay? So uh, this year, from the from from the people that were that were killed in the fires in Philadelphia and in New York City to uh, recent suicides, I have found myself this year, since the beginning of the year, once again having to go back to counseling and to therapy for uh, this heightened amount of depression and anxiety that I felt just watching people die and people hurt and people commit suicide and and uh, people leave church, people not go to church, people questioning their faith, people questioning God. And I just want you guys to know that for somebody who has done gospel music and has been a Christian since he was 15, I just need for you to know that I get it. I get how despairing life can be for a lot of people right now, how hurt a lot of people and how people can be mad at God, can be pissed off at faith, can be uh, tapped out of church, tapped out of, of believing because you are at a point now that everything that you've believed, you've questioned, you've doubted. And as I just celebrated a, 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 a birthday last week and thank y'all who celebrated and showed love, and my birthday is the same day that that Kobe Bryant and many of the other beautiful souls were lost, including his daughter. And every time I have a birthday, I am reminded of that tragedy, and it depresses me. I didn't know the brother, but for but to have somebody that iconic and that impactful on uh, not only sports but just culture uh, lose his life on my birthday. And I was in Los Angeles two years ago for the Grammys the day uh, we all got the news on our way to the Staples Center that Kobe and those many other beautiful souls lost their lives. Uh, if it happened on my birthday, I can be honest and tell you that I feel a guilt every time I tell people it's my birthday. Because this whole thing about finding out that I'm an empath, right? Um, even the loss of 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 Miss King's son, I had a chance to work with uh, Miss Miss King's uh, former husband. He worked at Interscope, and we worked on the God's Property label together. And I remember his son being around Six Flags in uh, in uh, Magic Mountain when, we, when he was a little kid. I was in my twenties, and and uh, his father and I worked on the God's Property album together. And uh, to hear of that tragedy, uh, to hear the tragedy of the sister uh, who Sunday lost her life. I just need for you to know something, and I wanted to say this, and I, and I, and I, and I hope that I say this to everybody, and it's no offense to Christianity, it's no offense to people that put all their faith in, in, in the Lord like I do. I need for you to know this. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not be able to be able to recite scriptures off the top of your head and, and be quick to lift your hands. It's okay. Many prophets from Habakkuk to Job were angry at God. They cursed God. They were upset at God. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay for you to share your deepest wounds and hurts with someone. Like me, I wanted to tell you 
that even as an African American and 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 I come from a a a community of very prideful people, and to talk about mental illness has always been connected to shame. I need for you to know, go to therapy, talk to someone. If some of you even need to go to step further, and 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 I know that for some of the black community it may be taboo. If medicine is necessary, whatever's necessary, I need for you to know that for you to walk in anguish and despair by yourself is not okay. It's not okay. You can go to the altar and you can shout and you can run all you want to, but when you get up and you still feel that cloud that is constantly around you, faith without works is dead. Go get the help. It does not cancel out your Christianity. I need for you to know that I'm I'm begging you. I am pleading with you. Like the beginning of this year, I had to go back and get some help because I found myself every morning, every evening, struggling with anxiety, struggling with depression, and 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 very grateful to have life, but couldn't get through that cloud. And I had to go talk to someone. I've been going to therapy since I was 18. Many of you know the trauma I had of being adopted. I was adopted, was abandoned, but had its own trauma. Even the lady that adopted me early in my teenage years, she didn't want to be my mother anymore. Beautiful soul, but she 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 started the rejection. And then I had the trauma of also just being in church. There's a trauma at times, and we don't want to talk about it, but there's a trauma that can come with religion. There's a trauma if you're not in the right church, if you're not in the right healthy communities, and condemnation and guilt is always people's way. But think about it. For a lot of us, we came to Christianity. A lot of people in my generation, it was come to Jesus so you won't go to hell. It's a horrible way to start a relationship. It's a horrible way to start a love relationship with someone, right? Come to God out of fear. So, 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 so your whole faith narrative is you're afraid God going to get you. That's traumatic, especially for somebody like me who already dealt with abandonment and fear of rejection and fear of being loved. And I've dealt with that my entire life. So I've been in, out of therapy and I thank God that I had a pastor, I had a mentor in my early teenage years that recommended therapy to me. And I've been going in and out of therapy almost all of my life and I'm grateful for it. And I'm not ashamed to tell you guys, I am an African-American male Christian that goes to therapy. Please, it's okay to not be okay. And I also want to say something, and I'm not going to first, man, thank y'all for all of y'all that have shown up. I want to say one more thing. I want to say one more thing, and I got to keep it a grip with y'all. One more. Y'all know me and Tammy. Y'all see me post pictures with me and Tammy. Y'all know I love Tammy. Y'all know Tammy loves me. And, and if you follow me, you know we celebrated 26 years um, uh, just two weeks ago. I need for you to know this. Do not be fooled by filters. Say it again. Do not be fooled by filters. Everything on Instagram and social media is a filter. It's the filter to make you look pretty, to make you look good, to make everything look perfect. There is no perfect relationship. There's no perfect relationship. Me and my wife got into one of the biggest arguments that we have gotten into in years just back in December. And it was a hard one. And, and I don't know about you, if you've ever been in an argument with somebody you love and you can't figure out how it started, you can't figure out how to get out because you hurting, she hurting, and no matter what you say, don't make it no bad. And it's like, we just got stuck. We got stuck. We got stuck. And I grabbed a bag and I said, you know what? I'm going to leave out before I say something that I don't need to say. And I grabbed a bag and I spent the night and I came back the next morning and it was still rough and it got rough. And I thank God for Christian friends. I thank God for godly friends. We went over to a couple's house and, and I was like, yo, man, y'all need to talk to us because we can't get out of this block. Thank God for uh, uh, Corey. Thank God for Sarah Miller. And we went over to their crib. And I'm telling y'all this, man, because so many people are walking away. Listen, man. Marriage is not supposed to be happy, comfortable, fairy tale like the rom-com movie. That ain't going to be it all the time. And me and wife have been rocking for 26 years and it ain't no perfect marriage. 
It ain't no perfect marriage. Stop looking at people's relationships on social media and stop romanticizing these unrealistic uh, 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 relationships that you don't know the depths of what they go through. I'm telling you, me and my girl have mountains. But by the grace of God, we climb them. I didn't have a daddy to teach me. I didn't have a mama to show me love. And, and, and we all know a mama is a boy's first love. And a boy is mama's last love. I'm telling you all this, man, because so many people are walking away before they get to the good part of life. I'm begging you, man. I know what mental illness is. I've dealt with it for years in my family. I know what mental illness is. I know the shame that for African Americans we hide in. I know the distrust that we have with the health community. I know that we have so many issues that we bring to the table. I know the trauma of being a black man in America. I understand all of that. I'm telling you, there's so many things that are at your disposal now to get you help. Man, it's okay to not be okay. Um, I just wanted to start the year keeping it a buck with y'all. Y'all don't have to live a masquerade, don't have to live fake, don't live fake. Every day by grace, I'm walking every day by grace. I'm, I'm getting the help I need, I'm talking, I'm having the relationship, I'm spending time with the Lord, I'm going to, listen man, get outside, get you some sun. There's medicine in sun. There's medicine and some sunshine. Turn the dog on phone off. Just sit by the park. Sit by the lake. Do whatever you need to do. Get with your loved one. I mean, get with your wife. Get up under covers. Play the fart game. You know what I'm saying? Hold the covers down and bam and kill her. And then she get you back. Bam. And y'all be like, oh, girl, you're so crazy. Oh, girl, you stink. Oh, girl, you mess. And man, listen. Smile and let, let go of everyone and everything that continues to reject your help. Jesus died on the cross so you don't have to. Man, I want y'all to have a great new year. Stay healthy. And it's okay to not be okay.